So I'm now on the steps of St Alfonso. Uh, and inside it's very much like um, Westminster Cathedral in, in terms of being incredibly dark and not very patterned above uh, <coughs> the halfway line. And I'm halfway now between St Mary Major at the end of that road there and John Lateran at the end of that road. And what I'm doing is I'm just making my way down the road and I'm stopping at every little church that I see. Some are open, some are not. When they are open I go in and have a look and I only take photos, videos if they don't uh, mind. And uh, yeah, some of them are closed and I just pass on. So I'm making my way, I think, St John Lutheran is as far that way as I'm going because then I think we're going to have to head back that way which is where all the Roman sort of areas are. I know like the next road along seems to have a lot of churches on as well. But this is very very much like London in terms of churches. It's like you can't go more than a block without seeing the next church. Ladies and gentlemen, I have found the Chernobyl of Rome. Yes, look. There's one little kitty catty there. And there's another. And that one's playing dead, but he's alive. And then there's even one down there. That's four. And I thought Jenny Fields was bad. And this is um, <coughs> uh, something to do with the Commune of Rome. I think it was a commune at some point in time, <coughs> obviously not anymore. And this is, uh, oh my god, there's, a, there's more kittens, I've just seen two over, three over there. So that's now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven that I've seen. Anyway, this is the, uh, this is the, the area, it's a garden uh, dedicated to Nicholas somebody or other, Calipari I think, or Calipoli or something like that. So, and what we did was, unfortunately, straight off the path, uh, we were going, heading for um, John Lateran, uh, and then we saw another big church um, that wasn't too far away, so we thought, well, we'll digress in that direction, but before we got there, we found this, which is interesting because it's not actually on the map. I still know where I am because right ahead of us is Mary Major and the church that caught my eye is round this corner. So I thought I'd check that out first. And now we're so close to uh, Piazza Emmanuel uh, the second I think. Uh, one of the kings, the Italian kings. Uh, yeah, that's, that's the church that caught my eye just round here. That we may as well do that because I think that lies between here and there, behind that building there. Sorry, it appears that that uh, the garden there, that is. Uh, Vita Emmanuel too. So this is the main piazza around here. I was going to say, it seemed a bit sizeable not to be on the map anywhere. I got myself into a bottleneck, there we are. So I'm going to continue on my journey. And I think I'm going to get to Piazza Dante before I get to uh, St. John. Uh, not much left of Piazza Dante by the looks of it. It's mostly workside. <laughs> but there is that big building there. Casa di Raspe... Ras... Sorry, Casa di Risparmio Postale. So I guess that's the main post office then. Could be useful, I suppose. Although well, they look like they're doing work on that as well. If I am not mistaken, this should be St John Lateran. 
it's in the right place and it's kind of too big to be anything else really but I could be wrong I'm going to have a look around here it says Piazzo Giovanni Palo 2 so it's the square of John Paul and a column from Constantine by the looks of it uh, you might know I can even zoom in on this well, that is not Roman at all that is stolen from Egypt goodness knows which temple that once stood outside of it's got naughty to do with that really but they uh, they do so and have a look inside the church not the uh, Here in John Lateran. <laughs> 